Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is the burden. And this is the Six of Swords and this is moving away from a very, very difficult situation. So whatever happened uh, to you in the past, you've got that thunderbolt over there. Uh, that's, um, you know, where you've had a big um, upheaval in your life. Some kind of big event happened. Um, maybe you've uh, had, a, you know, a lot of loss uh, was incurred during that particular phase and there was a lot of problems. It happened very suddenly. It was very dramatic. Uh, there was, uh, you know, a lot of uh, unhappiness as well. You might have been thrown out of a situation, uh, so you might have had to leave a situation behind, and you know, you feel as though your world has been upside down. So it was a, a you know, a very dramatic uh, event that happened. Um, and you've got the traveling card over here, so things are starting to move on for you um, with this. Uh, this is the Eight of Rods. So uh, you know, you may have had, received some news as well, but also you may have been doing some traveling, but you are now starting to move away. From from that energy um, as well and you, you've got that um, um, six of swords over there and the six of swords is about uh, you know moving away and with the eight of rods it could be physically moving away so you could be doing some traveling as well uh, you know um, overseas um, to maybe warmer country, uh, warmer climate as well, uh, but definitely moving away from that situation and physically moving away uh, from whatever happened uh, with the thunderbolt with the tower coming in. So in the past, you've got that isolation card over here, and this is the Three of Swords, and this is talking about being alone. So whatever happened uh, with this tower event left you feeling very, very unhappy. This is a heartbreak. You can see there's a lot of tears, and, uh, you know, um, it's left you feeling completely shocked uh, as to what happened uh, in that particular event and very, very heartbroken about things. Um, you've got that 10 of um, cups over there. So that was the end of that. You know, you might have gone through a lot of emotional turmoil as well uh, and a lot of problems. Um, but now some peace is coming back into your life again. So there's, that difficult situation has now passed. And even though you're still crying about it, it is now finished. That event that happened that is still playing on your mind is now over and done with. And you are now going, you know, you're, you've, you've got a bit of peace and harmony. Maybe there was a lot of um, fighting and arguing going on within that situation. But, uh, you know, you're now settling down uh, after and getting over whatever happened as well. So going into the future, you've got the Rebel over here, which is the Emperor card, and you've got the playful, play, Playfulness. So the Emperor card is, you know, a card that uh, is ruled by Mars, which is also um, ruled by Scorpio, and it is showing that you're taking control of your life back again. Uh, you're, um, you're getting back your power, your energy, and, uh, you know, you are, you know, you're coming back into your own again. So, um where your confidence has been hit, it seems like you will get that back, that coming back. And you've got that playfulness card again, which is uh, the page of uh, rods. So there might be some travel as well involved here. And, you know, you're getting to see things from a better uh, perspective now. Um, you might be having, uh, you know, a lot of social uh, encounters, meeting a lot of people uh, and, um, you know, getting out there and putting yourself out there and having a, li a lot more fun as well with that playfulness card. So that coming in for you in the future. So things are settling down after you went through quite a dramatic turn of events and, you know, where you were really shocked and upset about it. Things will uh, sort themselves out. So I'm going to just draw the uh, cards from the Art Nouveau Tarot. I have um, shuffled this deck and it is uh, in the description box. So have a look. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the anything can happen card. So, you know, you are open to uh, change and, you know, you have control of the situation again. So this is what you want to come into your life where you can, uh, you know, plot the, your course of your own uh, destiny and you don't want anything to come in and interfere with you. So you are going on your intuition as well and how you do things and you're taking things as they come along and you are the one that is changing uh, your fate 
you're changing the way things are going in your life right now. So you are very, very much in control of things again. Now you've got the chariot card over here, and this is crossed by the three of cups. So with the chariot card, it's you know you're very determined to get things going, and you're determined to make a change, and you're determined to get victory in your life. So you are trying to achieve something. Um, this might also be a travel and a change of residence as well. So maybe you want to buy a new home, or you want to move home itself. So it looks like you know you're you're trying to get back that control because the chariot is about taking that control. But since it's a card ruled by Cancer, so this could be uh, that you know you could be buying a new home, or you could be changing um, you know where you live. And it's crossed by the Three of Cups. So this is about celebrating achievement. So, uh, you know, taking control and uh, getting things and even buying a new home is going to lead to some kind of happiness and achievement. And it's going to be a brand new start for you. So you, you're making a brand new start. Like I said, you might be even buying a new home. Now, in the past uh, year or so, everything has been, uh, you know... Um, at a standstill with this hanged man uh, and you've been getting a, a lot of enlightenment as well uh, you made a lot of sacrifices as well and now you were just waiting for things to happen so uh, you know you really didn't um, you know you haven't been uh, proactive in trying to go and find yourself a relationship you've been going with the flow and waiting for things to happen and you've been getting a lot of spiritual insights changing your philosophy um, things coming to you and uh, you know you've been just letting things happen as they have but things have been a bit, little bit uh, at stuck a little bit of a standstill but you're not doing anything really um to to move things on you're just waiting for things to happen or waiting for things to change now you've got the eight of cups over here so it seems like you've been you've moved away from that difficult situation it seems like uh you know it was something that you were not happy with uh, you were very disillusioned by what uh that relationship was and you you seem to have walked away from it so what's in your mind, you do want a relationship with somebody uh, where you can work well with this person. Now you've got this two of pentacles over here, and it looks like these two people are not agreeing on, on things. And maybe that relationship that you were involved in, uh, you know, you all could never get things done um, together, or you didn't agree on a lot of things, and, you know, you were not very productive together. So uh, this is what you've been thinking about, that you haven't been working with, you know, you weren't able to work with this person and you weren't able to build anything because you couldn't come to any kind of agreement. Now going into the future, you've got the eight of um, pentacles over here. And this is, um, you know, focusing on your work. Um, you might be in, um, you know, um, some kind of uh, relationship or you might be working with somebody rather and you know learning uh, as well on the job uh, taking on that apprentice kind of role uh, so there is somebody in your arena um, that you work with that you might be interested in uh, you might be learning a lot from them so learning maybe a lot of lessons from them uh, but maybe learning uh, on the job and maybe you're attracted to them at the same time so there's somebody that you're working very very closely with uh, uh, maybe a teacher that person is acting a, um, playing a teacher kind of role in your life and um, you know you're very attracted to this person and you know you have a lot of close contact with this person because you're working quite a bit with them and so this person seems to be somebody that you're attracted to now you've got the magician card of here so you're not trying to focus on manifesting everything that you want in life um, so you're very skilled uh, you're also very busy at this particular moment so you, maybe you're focusing a lot on work maybe there's a lot of deadlines or, or, or you know just putting a lot of your efforts and energies into manifesting uh, you know your career or it could be um, you know you're trying to manifest a relationship as well so uh, there is somebody that you are attracted to on the work front that you're working very closely with maybe you're trying to manifest a relationship with them as well but you're also very very focused on your work and uh, you know you've been very very busy you might be doing a lot of traveling there might be a lot of communication uh, you know with a lot of people collaborating with a lot of people but you are very very busy now, uh, what's going on around you? You've got this Eight of Swords. So um, maybe you felt like uh, you know, you're feeling a, a little bit... Um manipulated or controlled by your previous relationship it seems like you do have a little bit of contact with this particular person or you still have some contact with this person and they're still trying to boss you around or, um, or they're still trying to control your every move um, and maybe uh, any encounter with them makes you feel very restricted or it makes you feel as though you know they're trying to uh, control you too much so there's still some control issue going on over here and there's also a lot of anxiety and stress maybe that person uh, you know whatever that relationship was uh, you know it, it had reached crisis point really 
and any encounter with them that you have now seems to bring out that uh, feeling of being controlled or uh, you know feeling as though you're being uh, stifled so you're still having uh, you know whenever you meet this person you still seem to be having arguments and they see, still seem to be very very controlling uh, of your life in some sort of way so what uh, what's on your hopes and fears? You've got the Six of Cups. So you are, uh, you know, thinking about the past a lot. And you're thinking about all the disappointments that you've had. Because this cup is empty and this person's crying over this empty cup. So you are feeling very disappointed with not having achieved what you wanted uh, from that relationship. And, um, you know, you are still thinking about all the disappointments and the regrets. This is a card, you know, of, of regret about, uh, you know, loss that you went through so you are thinking a bit too much of the past so going into the future you've got this two of cups the four of uh, swords and you've got the lovers card so the two of cups is a new relationship coming in for you so it looks like there's an offer coming in for you a, a, a very good uh, relationship a soul connection relationship somebody that you get along very very well with now this could uh, be a relationship that starts up off as a very good friendship and then proceeds uh, into a very uh, physical, very sexual relationship. So this person, uh, this is a new meeting because it's the Two of Cups. And this relationship that's coming in for you, maybe you've already met this person. Uh, maybe this is the person that you're working with. Uh, and it starts off as a really good friendship, you know, very on a social basis. You'll get along, you'll hit it off. And, um, you know, it seems like it might end up in a very sexual relationship as well. Now you've got that Four of Swords over here. So this is getting... Uh, a very healing relationship as well. So with the Four of Swords is getting over that Three of Swords heartbreak, but also healing from it, uh, you know, getting a new perspective as well. And, um, you know, you could even be, uh, you know, end up going on a holiday with this person that you meet. So, you know, you could be taking a short break together or you could be taking some sort of holiday together and, and this relationship proceeds into something uh, very physical. So there's a progression of this relationship, starting off a very good friendship and ending off in a, in a very, very strong uh, sexual relationship. Or, And, you know, with this being the a major arcana card in the lovers, um, the lovers being a major arcana card, this could end up being a long-term relationship as well. Uh, but a very, very strong at attraction to this person. Like I said, a very soulmate connection with this person that you uh, you meet. So something brand new coming in on the relationship front. And it's going to be something that, uh, you know, um, uh, comes your way. And it might be somebody that you've been working with very, very closely uh, that ends up uh, becoming, starting off as that friendship and then proceeding. So I'm just drawing some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. And this is for the Oracle Reader. You've got the Seven of Raphael, which says, time to make a decision, be clear on what you want, and take action, a need for detoxification. So uh, you need to also make that decision. With the Lover's Card, it's also talking about decision-making, about whether you want to proceed with a relationship or you want it to go any further. With the Seven of Raphael, they say, uh, you know, it's time to make that decision as well. So you will be faced with the choice as to whether you want this relationship to become um, something long-term or, uh, you know, if you just want it to be, remain as a casual relationship. So uh, you've got the Queen of Gabriel over here, which says you can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. Now, this new relationship that comes in could be with a person that is a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because the Queen of Gabriel is the uh, Queen of Rods. And um, it also says that, you know, you have the ability to attract uh, anything to you right now. So, uh, you know, this uh, is taking control of that situation and, uh, you know, being able to do anything that you want. So you've got a lot of power coming into your hands soon. So some kind of choice that you have to make soon. And, you know, you could be involved with a fire sign person as well. Um, but also you taking control of that situation. And the Queen of Gabriel is also about maybe you're doing some travel as well. Then you've got the Ace of Ariel over here, which says it's your lucky day, new resources of money, a change in job or promotion. So the Ace of Ariel is, uh, you know, a new financial situation coming in for you. But on the on the relationship front, this relationship that you uh, um, are going to be involved in, it's the beginning of uh, of a relationship because it's the Ace. And with Ariel, it's about the Ace of Pentacles. So this person, uh, this new relationship that you start is going to be somebody that you meet on the work front. So this could well be this person that you are have been working with, this Eight of Pentacles, um, you know, where they are, uh, you know, training you up. Uh, but, you know, you'll end up having some kind of relationship. And it seems like, or 
it could be that relationship or it could be uh, you know somebody else but somebody on the work front that you meet so this new relationship uh, or this new friendship uh, is going to be uh, somebody that you meet from you know on a work somebody that you work with and that will proceed to something uh, you know long term uh, or it it will progress into uh, something that is a very, very strong attraction. So there, it looks like, uh, you know, there's the beginning of something new. Uh, you have been waiting for it with this hangman, and it looks like it's about to come through into your arena right now. And it looks like it's going to be something that makes you very, very happy. Um, and, uh, you know, you are, as long as you take charge of that situation and if you take uh, you know work on your self-confidence it looks like as far as your work goes you are achieving quite a bit uh there's success with that uh, chariot and some, there's some kind of celebration as well with you achieving things uh, achieving your goals uh, but also you're in the state of manifestation so this relationship that you want to come in is going to come in and it's probably going to be with somebody that you have been working with so i hope that this uh, reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye